Hey guys, welcome back. A little early in the morning, but uh, I had the dog out and come back in a few minutes later. My phone, ding. My package from Frag by arrived. I was a little worried because uh, I was checking the, the tracking the other day and it said it was delayed and it wasn't going to be here till Monday or Tuesday. Um, not Frag by's problem, FedEx. So don't, don't get Frag by about it. Um, yeah, and then all of a sudden, ding, this ain't Tuesday, this is Saturday, it was supposed to be here yesterday, <laughs> so it was delayed a day, but, anyway, just, uh, thought I'd, I already opened up the box, you know, the red box, I took the cellophanes off and stuff, uh, just a quick first impressions of these, um, they're, all four of them are their Toffa, and then there's one, uh, Franck Olivier, uh, they're all clones of stuff. I can't remember most of them. Um, but this is kind of nice. This is like a leather. I'm sure it's faux leather, but with some like leather engraving, some leather work. Certificate of authenticity. Um, I'm assuming it. I don't know how to open this one up. Oh, there we go. Just had to be. Oh, that's nice. You could display it if you wanted, I guess. I keep it in there. These Atafas are nice, guys, honestly. Most of them are okay. The bottle's cheap, though. Wish that had been aluminum and not. I don't know if you can hear it. It's just a cheap plastic. Looks like I could pull it off if I really tried. Um, but it looks good. It's just the quality of it's questionable. Well, let's give it a spray. not leaking or anything that's good oh that's like smell that from here that's kind of nice yeah that's actually i don't know what it's a clone of i know it's a clone of something um even a lot of iris i think yeah a slight hint of oud More iris, though. What is that a clone of? I don't know what it's a clone of, but I like it. One second, guys. I'll be right back. Well, according to this, some people say it's a clone of, uh, just on my thing here. Wow, that's dirty. Um, it's not dirty. That's whatever the fuck that is. <laughs> according to, uh, this, it's a clone of either, uh, is a Mayaki Polaris or Interlude Man by a by a uh, you know who? Um, yeah, I got hit with a big dose of iris off the top. They're really nice, but there's no iris listed. Could be a combination of the cardamom and cinnamon and florals in it, but oud's coming out a little more. It's been about believe it or not about five minutes. It took me that long to find find or sign on to my thing. Yeah, though. I really like that. Like, really like that. Like, a lot. Not overly sweet. It's got a little bit of sweetness, some vanilla. And... Ooh, that's actually sexy. Like, I don't say that a lot, but that's, that's a sexy fucking scent. Ooh. All right, well, you're the winner so far. <laughs> um... I don't even know why I bought this. I hate leather scents for the most part, but it's uh, their version of a Tom Ford ombre leather. Uh, maybe I like this one. I don't know. Box is just a box. Get that certificate, though. That hologram. <laughs> eh, kind of a cheap bottle looking. Not bad, but you know what they're duping with the name and the bottle. Um, let's find out if I like it as much as that one. Even half as much would be good. Give that a second. I got a hint of alcohol just from the blast. Ah. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of leather scents, though. I, I've talked about it before. So. 
I mean, I'm getting a lot of leather. There's like a sweet fruit in there, though. Almost candied raspberry or something, or candied cherry, or... Yeah, right off the initial blast, it's not something I'd... I'd wear it, it's okay. But that's just my... Dislike of leather. No oud at all, which is fine. It's not shouldn't have oud. I mean, it's a, a leather scent. And I don't know. That one's... But again, that's more my disdain for leather than the scent itself. I do remember smelling ombre noir. Or whatever. Not ombre noir. Uh, ombre leather. A few times at the store. And, uh... Never buying it because it wasn't, it's, this is pretty close. I mean, I couldn't tell you if it's 100% accurate, but it's, it's, from what I remember, and it was just a few months ago, actually, when it was in Sephora again, there a couple months ago that I smelled it, so. Mm. It's only one small spray, but it also smells kind of a lot weaker than ombre leather. I will see, though. I mean, yeah, something. Um, another one by Lutafa. Cued Al Fursan. This one's got a little bit of a damage to it. Look. You bent in there. I'm sure the fragrance is fine. If not, Frag Bio, give me another one. They're good like that. Um. Oh, this is the one that's supposed to be that ultra sweet pineapple Aventus clone. Let's find out. Kind of excited about this. I'm done with Aventus clones, but there's this one. Like I said, unless they do something crazy, this one seemed crazy. Not a bad bottle, nothing fancy. A Sauvage S cap. It's, it's magnetic, so that's that's a plus. Um, oh, you smell. Oh yeah, can you smell that pineapple just from here? Oh, it smells like the canned Dole pineapple. When you open it up, it really does. When you open up a can of pineapples and you got that syrup, and I mean, don't don't throw it out. Drink, eat, spoon. That stuff's great. Um, a little more going on than that, but I mean, it's, it, that might be good layered with a club day in the weed kind of get rid of that. Harsh opening that Club Nidui has. Maybe that would help. I'm just, just pineapple, really. Slight nuances of a bit of a... The tiniest bit of woods. <laughs> I kind of like that. <laughs> uh, we'll see how it dries down on paper. I'll come back here in a bit and see if the paper's changed any on it. If any of them changed on the paper, but... Yeah, I, mean, I kind of like that. I, this is the one I was I was I was curious about. I, I didn't think I got a fifty. No, I thought it was a hundred, but whatever. Um, the Franck Olivier, uh, oh, the passion men supposed to be a dupe of, and I didn't think they were dupe hosts, but I guess they are of uh, Chanel Platinum Ego Steve. Or Agosta, however you say it. I remember having that one years ago in a little Chanel sample set that uh, shoppers had. I smell pineapple. I'm actually enjoying it greatly. It's nice. It's yeah. No. Anyway, back to this one. Um, and I remember really liking it, but there was only like little 15 mil dabber. They weren't even sprays, and I li I really liked it, but I didn't like it enough to spend that kind of money on it. Plus, I didn't have that kind of money at the time. Um, and by the time I had that kind of money, so much other stuff had come out. So we'll see. We'll see. I remember being fresh and rather old school modern. I don't know what the word is I'm looking for. Oh, nice sprayer. Almost pressurized. Not quite, but. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a citrus soapy, fresh kind of fragrance. Um, like I remember. Um, <clears throat> sorry, my alarm thing went off. I'm just using my phone for this. 
Uh, yeah, freshy soap kind of vibe. It's fresh. It's, it's definitely a fresh scent. Like I remember, it's pretty much what I remember. It's pretty close. Um, definitely has a bit of an old school vibe to it though. You, you've got to like more mature sense to, to wear that one or you're just not going to like it. I mean, it's just the way it is. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm this one. I'm, I'm impressed with the packaging. I love coffers. Um, I don't know why. I always have. You put anything in a coffer and I'm going to be a sucker for it. But look at that. And it's like this velvety, silky kind. It's not real. But. Eh. Uh, this one is supposed to be a dupe of either. Some people say Tuxedo from the. Uh, Dior Privé line. Or is it the YSL? YSL. I can't remember now. I uh, obviously haven't smelled it. Dude, that's a nice heavy cap. Or mustache. Uh, uh, I have smelled mustache a couple times. Um, uh, my buddy has it. Uh, maybe I'll get a little decant from him and compare the two. But I haven't smelled it in a few months. And it was only one quick whiff, really, at his house. So I really can't tell you. I'll try, but... Again, another one I can smell immediately. Oh, yeah, that's nice, too. Definitely not blind by worthy, though. You you got to, like... Uh, what, what booze is in there? Tobacco. It smells like something other than mustache. Maybe I have smelled the tuxedo, because it smells like something, but not the mustache. It smells like mustache, but there's something else, I'm, something I smelled 20 years ago, I think. Oh my God, I can't remember. It's an older man scent I smelled. Maybe a Pierre Cardin, maybe? I don't remember. It smells like something other, maybe it is the tuxedo. I don't know, I really like it though. Falls along the same lines to my nose as like the Bentley, a boozy, mature kind of scent. Um, yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't know either. The first one, that's really nice, although it's becoming more oody. Losing that bit of that, what I really liked about it, or this one, are my favorite. I'm gonna let them dry down a bit, guys, and I'll be back with uh, my thoughts on their dry downs. I'll give them a half hour or so. That's usually a won't be hard, we'll be more into the mid, but the dry down, a lot of them will be coming out. So, yeah, I'll be back. Hey. Be from the future. Um, been about 40 minutes. Um, try that first one again. The opening was beautiful. And the opening's still there, but there's a little more oud in it. I think as time goes on, it's going to become a bit more smoky oud than, which is fine. It, it, not overly sweet. Yet, again, it could change. It's only been about an hour, not even that long, about 40 minutes. Um, but the mid is definitely, it's definitely changed. Jeez, I can't hold it with this one because all I get is pineapple. Because <laughs> I hit my thumbnail. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I definitely, definitely way super surprised by that one. All right, now the ombre leather clone. It's better. It's better. It's even got a bit of a, not an aquatic vibe, but a, an aqueous vibe to it, too. Um, definitely more wearable than it was when I first blasted it. That synthetic candied fruit, raspberry or cherry or something has gone. Not gone, but it's, it's playing a background. It's a little bit of smoke. 
And then I'm assuming there's some incense. Like I said, some aqueous vibes to it. That could be the leather, though. Like a skin aqueous vibe. I know it sounds weird, but you know what I mean. Yeah, I can see me wearing this. It's not overly leathery yet. It's definitely leather, though. And amber. Not a sweet amber. Amber might be giving it a bit of that aqueous vibe, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's okay. Um, let's go with the pineapple. <laughs> Still out. Just a pineapple, really. There's nothing really else that's come out. Yet, but I heard this one's a beast, so... Doesn't really start to change for a few hours. I ain't got that kind of time. I gotta go to work today. I'm not getting an Aventus vibe, like a lot of people say. Now, that might come later on. I'm just getting a pineapple vibe with a little hint of woods. There's no black currant. There's no smoky birch tar. There's no... Aventus to me at all. Just the only thing that would be Aventus is a pineapple, but this is way more pineapple than any Aventus I've ever smelled. I only smell like three different batches, but or any clone for sure. But it might be good, like I said, layering with that Club de Noe. We'll see at some point in time. Yeah, mostly just pineapple still, guys. Not quite as sweet as it was in the blast, but now it smells like more like a, a fresh cut pineapple. You know, not the syrupy sweet pineapple. All right, let's go with the uh, passion one there for Frank, Frank, sorry, Frank Olivier. Yeah, this smells like the 90s to me. In a good way, like. Nice, nice, classy, soft gentleman scent. Uh, I do remember... Yeah, it's, it smells like, from my memory, pretty damn close to uh, Platinum Eagles tea. Um, There might be slight differences. I mean, it's been years since I smelled it, but I remember I have a pretty good memory for smells a lot of times. Sometimes I don't, as you'll see probably with this one. But this smells like classy 90s to me. I remember wearing that one out um, to parties and stuff and it doing really well. I don't like I said, only a little 10, 15 mil decant. Um, and then this one, Kinsmit for men. They're supposedly polaris or mustache or, or no, that was the first one. They're uh mustache or uh tuxedo dupe. I st it's got a tobacco, some kind of booze, tobacco. Sweet vanilla or amber is coming out now. Jeez, that is nice. You've got to be like me, though. I really like tobacco, boozy, woody, sweet scents. Uh, if you don't like them, you're not going to like it. But my God, that is, that literally smells like it should be fucking $200. At least on here. Anyway, I don't know how the performance is and stuff, but it doesn't smell cheap, dupish, anything. None of these really do. Honestly, geez, I'm telling you, there's a couple more from the top I'm going to order, and that'll be it for a while for me. For uh, That'll give me, like, what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, it'll give me, like, 12 of the top of I'll have enough to do an overview of the house, too. Oh, that is nice. If I had not even been wearing something, I'd be wearing this today. Which, by the way, I'm wearing a... Uh, Decided to go with our moth craze today for, for a change. Um, yeah, I wish I had worn this now. It smells like a, a very realistic. I don't know what kind of booze. It's not a cognac or anything like that. Maybe a. Scotch or whiskey, a slight scotch whiskey vibe to it with a very realistic tobacco. Like one of the best tobacco, realistic tobaccos I've smelled. And that soft vanilla coming up. Yeah, 
man, I'm going to enjoy that. I guarantee that. That's black. I love them kind of smells. So, so yeah, that was my uh, my fragrance. Lutafa Frank Olivier or Frank Olivier Paul. Um, the Frank Olivier is nice too. It smells like the 90s to me. I'm sorry, but it does. So if you like 90s classy gentleman scents, kind of get that one. It's soft though. It's not anything like these other ones. So anyway, that's it, guys. I gotta get ready for work. Uh, peace, love, be good to each other.